Hi guys, hope you're doing well and I hope this finds you well. Another kitchen edition, makeup free, been indoors all day. Um, I hope you guys are keeping safe and I hope everything is well on your side. Um, I want us to do another kitchen edition. I plan on cooking jollof of rice. Wait, before I even proceed, I hope you guys have subscribed. If you have not, the subscribe button is somewhere right here. And make sure your notification bell is on so that you do not miss... A notification every time a new video is posted i post videos every monday at 8 30 in the morning so guys i'm tagging along with me to the kitchen because i plan on cooking jollof it is a west african meal it is the first time for me i mean this is the first time i'm going to try it and my fingers are crossed that all goes well my fingers are crossed and i'm hoping oh it doesn't need to make a picture so guys that said um Come with me, let us go, give it a try and see how it turns out. Guys, uh, subscribe, subscription, subscribe button, Nico Hapa Hivi, so make sure you subscribe if you're not yet. I would really appreciate, I will really appreciate if you do so. And guys, it is absolutely free, like nobody will ask you for a shilling or even two if, yeah. So guys, can you subscribe? You have done so? Your notification bell is on? Thank you, thank you guys, thank you. So... So there you go, let's go and get started with the cooking process. So guys, let's get started. I have my tomatoes right here. This is ginger. Um, these are onions that are yet to be cut into pieces. And a generous amount of garlic. There's nothing like too much garlic when it comes to your meal. So let's first get started with this. I'll cut this into small pieces, then blend them up. Then I'll possibly take one or two onions and fry it and the rest will be blended up together with this. And so, let's get started. So let's get started with the onions. Um, we'll cut them into small pieces. If you're a perfectionist, one who loves uh, these things, you can do rings, you can do, I do anything, squares, circles, rectangles, as far as you cut them into pieces. Hapa machosi, machos, machos. You will cry a good one. Actually, we have a hack for onions, but I don't use it. So, we're done with the onions. Um, let us proceed with the tomatoes. So, of course, we'll cut them into smaller pieces. Small, smaller, smallest. Smaller pieces, basically, for usage in the blender. So, kukata kata, kukata kata, kukata kata. <laughs> So next thing we're going to cut into small pieces is ginger. It doesn't have to be very fine. It just has to be into small pieces. Like we cannot throw the entire root in the blender. So we just cut into small pieces so that it blends easily and so that we get a fine product at the end of the day. So right here are my tomatoes. This here is uh, ginger. So next I'll first put this in the blender and... Uh, put this second, I mean, my chopping board is full. have a fun product uh, of our blended things here's the curry powder we're going to use um, this is chili <laughs> don't even talk about the container next is uh, tomato paste one other thing we're going to use is cinnamon powder for the spices this right here is garam masala I'm actually mixing up literally everything I have right here is cardamom um, not grounded and right here we have our maggi chicken stock so we'll get started with the cooking process basically heat your oil add your onions under medium temperatures or medium heat i'd say wait till your onions brown get a little golden brownish add your tomato paste most definitely this is where you add your tomato paste so that it gets cooked so that the, at the end of the day we do not have a raw taste of your tomato paste. Hey, hey, hey. 
so after a couple of minutes possibly three it is time to add your blended whatever what do i call it sauce okay whatever you have blended so add it to the mixture of add it to your onions and tomato so this is my pre-boiled beef which i'll add to the cooking sauce and allow it to of course i'll mix it up and i will allow it to cook for a couple of minutes actually about 10 minutes or so so that it softens up <laughs> So after about 10 minutes add your spices whichever spices you have of spices of your choice make sure this curry powder though um that will make the jollof yummy 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 So measure your rice based on how many people you want your meal to serve wash it well if you like it washed then of course add it to your cooking beef sauce mixture combination now as soon as you finish putting your rice make sure to mix it up well with your beef and whatever stew okay let me just call it stew in the meantime but make sure to mix it well so that it doesn't get burnt at the bottom of course here is where we mix everything up basically your rice your nyama your tomato puree let me call it puree this time round i mean just make sure everything is mixed up well after giving your food a good stir it's time to add your water not too much just above the surface of the rice so that by the time it dries up all the water will have been drained next thing you have to do is actually cover your rice and allow it to simmer for about 15 minutes I love covering mine with foil paper so that it it actually also cooks up at the like the upper part also cooks up so well. So in about 20 25 minutes maximum your rice will be ready. Time for the big reveal. Let us remove the foil and see how our rice looks like. Mashallah. So good, man. And it smells so so good. <laughs> So you 